got a brand new shoe here today. Obviously, you probably know what it is because of the box. It is an Amma Manier Jordan 1. They recently dropped the Jordan 3 and it's regarded as the best shoe of 2021 and they just dropped this, their Jordan 1. I got lucky on the restock on their website, so I'm super excited to unbox these. I got them for retail, and you're gonna see everything. I'm gonna show you high quality, up close images of the shoe, and my honest thoughts on the shoe. So let's get right into it. Definitely the most colorful. So right off the bat, you can see it comes with this little extra sleeve over the box. Pretty cool detail. You really don't see this with any shoes. I guess you can take it off that way. <laughs> It's supposed to slide out here, so let's take it out. You can see that burgundy on the Nike box. Very cool. You see the Amma Manier logo up top. You can see the Amma Manier logo on the side, right here on the side as well. So let's get right into it. The classic Amma Manier paper, and I'm gonna need somebody in the comments to count how many times I say Amma Manier because it's gonna be a lot. But anyways, we got the paper. And the shoe is backwards, of course. Nothing better than that. And man, this is the first time I'm actually looking at the shoe. So I'm gonna take the whole thing out here. And this is directly from the website. I just unboxed it. I haven't looked inside yet. It looks like the hang tag is not connected, which is kind of weird, but nothing else in here. Oh, here's the chain. I was gonna say, I was looking for the little chain. Maybe apply that. We don't need this anymore. Get rid of the box. So the first red flag, of course, is the hang tag is absolutely destroyed. It didn't even come attached. The stitching is all messed up on it. Like they didn't even try. Like it's just completely ruined down below there. So it is what it is. I'm not gonna be wearing the hang tag. We got the extra laces here. Let me grab a knife quick. Gotta cut the tag off. Gotta cut the extra laces off. Now the extra laces look a lot better than the original ones. Metal lace tips, which is something you really don't see very often. If we take the shoe trees out here and stuff. I guess, yeah, these have metal laces, lace tips as well. On the threes, it had a saying on the lace tips. I also just noticed that the lighting is absolutely atrocious, so let me fix that quick. All right, that should be a little bit better, so let's get back to the review. Now the first thing I wanna do before we lace them up is really look at all the details and talk about what Amma Manier did on this collab. This shoe is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of details on here that I love. There's a few details that I'm not a huge fan of. Now since I really wanna talk about the details, let's get in close on this shoe and go from the back to the front. Now starting at the back here, we have this speckled leather where it will crack over time. So I think this is gonna be a really good pair to wear a lot and not just let it sit on the shelf. We have almost a snakeskin material on the swoosh. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but you'll be able to see it up top here a little bit better. I wouldn't necessarily call it a snakeskin. It's almost this material with these dots. Kind of different. I haven't seen that before. Of course, we have the sail midsole and the burgundy outsole on the bottom. Looking a little bit more up top here. If you open up the inside flat, it says you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them, which is kind of cool. On the other flat, there is nothing to note. Looking a little bit on the inside now, we have the Amma Manier next to the Nike Air, all on one tag, which is pretty cool. If we open the shoe up on the inside, we are gonna see that iconic stitched inside that Amma Manier did on the Jordan 3 as well. I think it's super comfortable. It almost provides a little bit of luxury feel. Pretty different though. So let me take that out there and you can see it right there as well as it is stitched. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the comfort, but it really shouldn't, um, since Jordan 1s aren't comfortable to start with. Putting the insole back in here. The tongue is something that I definitely wanna note here. It is very, very padded. It's very thick up top, and then the bottom, it's a little thinner, but it's that same kind of cracking leather material. Toe box, cracking leather, nothing special there, but this is gonna be a shoe that will almost deteriorate over time and give you a completely different look once you have seen it for a while and once you've worn it for a while. So the next step now is to lace this bad boy up, so let's do that.
so now we got them all laced up I kind of want to run through my final thoughts on them before I put them on feet these laces I think are some of the most high quality laces I've seen straight from Nike I'm on here knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to quality that's kind of their niche that they kind of go for honestly I love this pair the leather is kind of odd it's cracking it's it's not my favorite but I think it's unique enough where it's something that they would definitely do themselves and it's not a usual collab and I think that's why it's gotten so much attention right off the bat the tongue super padded super comfortable one of my favorite features and it, it just seems like a shoe that you could wear all the time it's not crazy colors it's pretty muted in the burgundy I like it a lot so let's toss them on feet I got some brown Nike socks from finish line the girlfriend got me them Ooh, right off the bat extremely comfortable let's get this other one on here when I'm talking about comfortable this is definitely the most comfortable Jordan one I think I've ever put on my feet don't mind the bad fit but regardless these are unbelievably comfortable I am not kidding you extremely comfortable I love the way they look when you look down at them I mean come on I'm a Manier, you did not have to do this again because this pair right here, the threes, I mean, we got some competition for the threes. And I like how they kept the same color. It's like a purplish burgundy. They went a little darker on this one, but I like the look. It's something you really don't see. No one does that. I mean, no one does burgundy. You see all these shoes here, no one does burgundy. So, huge fan. That is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you guys wanna see a wear test, then like the video. And we're gonna be testing these. Uh, I'm super excited to wear these just because they're so comfortable. So we'll catch you in the next one and peace out.